can't get much better looking for it even from the grocery store. We're gonna let them get nice and smoky. And then we're gonna pull them off and wrap them up with some foil and let them slow cook. Just kind of break it, drop it. But the mission is clear. Get rid of the hogs. Hey guys, it's Elijah Tate with Team Tate Outdoors. And guess what we're doing today? We're going hog hunting. We're going hog hunting. So my dad has a couple friends. Um, they do property management and so we're going to this guy's little farm area and we're just gonna kill as many pigs as we can with uh, infrared scopes and so it's gonna be awesome should be pretty good buddy should be good we ought to kill a bunch of them hogs are a big nuisance in Oklahoma they're not like a like a game species treated like rats you know like iguanas in South Florida so uh, with that being said it's time to knock down as many as we can. We're gonna bring a couple home. We're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook wild hog. Here we go. Yeah. Well, guys, we are getting ready to head out, getting in the Humvee, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can't kill some pigs. Can't show you everything, but we're gonna show you some dead pigs, so let's get after it. So what we did, the guys all lined up and shot. One, the light from the, the light from the cameras actually screw up the IR. But the pigs are laying out here. We're gonna go gather them up with the white light. All right, guys. Here's what we got. Headshots there. That one's pretty much done. We're gonna go find the rest of them. This is why these hogs are a problem. Look at the amount of hogs. This was one, one group of shooting right here. Big, big pig, right there. That's a good pig, look at this guy. That's a long one. Yep, letters. He wet, boy. He's been yeah, he's wallowing. Been he's been wallowing. He's been wallowing. He's fat, ain't he? Yeah, he's fat all. Son, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I think that's like the ninth one. These guys have some uh, sp some special skills and some special equipment, don't they? Very special, <laughs> indeed. Now, what's that thing? Is that is that what? How do you see with this thing, son? So, I put it over my left eye. Uh, it captures uh, the light pretty well. What color is it Green. inside there? Green. Green. Nice. Okay, got him. You got it? Yeah. Dick is on him. He's done. Just shooting back. What you guys gotta know is this dog is trained to get on these to get on these pigs, you see this laser? This laser is actually hitting this these pigs and the dog is trained to get to that laser and actually get on them pigs. That's Brian, Brian's pointing that laser. That one right here, guys. No, that's it. <coughs> Good job, Bix. <laughs> I think there's another dead There's old dead pig skull right there, guys. 
Look at that. That's how many we've got out here. There's just so many pigs. You know, there's so many pigs out here, guys. Like I said, they're like iguanas in Miami. So we're just trying to kill a few of them. I'm trying to get as much as I can of it. When hunting with IR, if you have light on, you won't see it. You guys got to remember, killing these pigs is doing a huge favor to these to these farmers. These pigs tear up so much land. Their cows step in big holes, break their legs. It's real dangerous. Boars. Hey guys, look here. These are these are boars. This is here is the wetter and the cutter. These things right here will rip you open. That's a boar hog. Good shape. Been laying in the mud a little bit. How many pigs you guys reckon you've killed this year? 600 and what are we at? We were at 623 plus tonight, so 633. Right now, mine ain't over. And that's from uh, September from to September, September 1. September mm -hmm. 2021 till now. I don't know about you guys, but, and that's just, I mean, that's what the ones they've killed. Not the ones they've seen. They don't, they don't kill every single pig. I mean, some of these things get away. But uh, 620 something pigs. 33. Tonight, 33. That's a lot of pigs. You want that fat on this kind of pig. Man, that's a lot of fat. Well, they're no good. <laughs> right? You know, my dad, we cooked, we cooked some wild hog the other day. And my dad, when he ate it, all these years he's always told me, oh, they taste like urine. And so we gave him some wild hog, but we had cleaned a domestic hog together, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. And when my dad, um, when I cooked this pig, we slow cooked it, he, he ate it. You know, I let him season it and he ate it. He was like, man, it's so good. And I was like, oh man, dang it, Linda, why do we, we accidentally gave my dad the wild hog. He's like, that's wild hog. I was like, did you like it? He was like, if it all tastes like that, we'll be eating more wild hog. <laughs> Ain't got to be pretty, just got to be. Hey bud, what do you think about tonight? Well, we went out there, it was really dark today, but with that um, infrared scopes that I had, I could see pretty well with that green. And um, we got some nice hogs, got some back, back straps. And, These guys um, knows what they're doing, don't they? Yeah, they do. Like a professional special ops team. Yeah, they got some nice setups too. Guys, these uh, don't try to go out there and do this by yourself. Okay, these were specialized properties from farmers. Uh, they've been doing this for, I know one of the guys been doing this probably 50 years. And uh, they are professionals. They know what they're doing. And and they only take people that, that they can trust. So just wanted to show you guys what what pig management looks like and we're fixing to get in the inside the kitchen and uh, we're gonna cook some pork so we'll see you in the kitchen love me some pork <laughs> yeah all right guys well we had a great hunt last night with those guys they are some snipers and tonight uh, today what we're gonna do we're gonna be cutting up all these loins that we got these are all the loins I mean look how beautiful this pork is I mean you can't get much better looking pork, even from the, the grocery store. So we're gonna just cut these porks up, vacuum seal everything, and uh, then we're gonna start putting together our smoker pig meat, which is the hind quarter of the pig. So. How do you want? I'm gonna just do two. Yeah. 
Yeah. See the little kids. I didn't know what happened until it happened. They told me, yeah, Lola got back there. And I, they had a little rabbit hand back there. And Lola, they go. All right, guys, we have just marinated all these pork butts. We dry rubbed them really good. I got three of them here. This was off that big old fat sow right here. That one is, man, what a beautiful piece of meat. We're gonna put them on the smoker. We're get, gonna let them get nice and smoky. And then we're gonna pull them off and wrap them up with some foil and let them slow cook. We'll pull these apart in a couple, about, oh, about 18 hours. gracious that's a lot of meat as I was trimming the um, the pieces we actually cooked these pieces up there's all the fat cutoffs and gristle whatever and uh, Val likes it mm, good catch Val and this is Lola Lola likes it too good job Lola good girl you want another bite Val Want another bite? Here's a piece. You ready? Ready? What are you doing? Good catch. Sister. Another one? Good catch, Val. Oh, you missed it. Daddy bad throw. All right, let's give this last piece right here to Lola. She's sitting over here patiently waiting. Good girl. Good job, Lola. Good, good girl. Everyone gets to uh, enjoy the pork. Bye. I can't wait till we get to eat this. You guys are the first one to eat some of the pig. Hey, what? What do you want? Uh, one more bite. Good job, Lola. All right, back to the pork on the smoker. The big tub. Hey Lola, what are you doing? Come on Lola, come out of there. Lola, what are you over there doing? Licking the, licking the fat. All right, guys, we have nice and hot still. Fixing to pull these things out. Here, mom. Hold that, would you? There we go, guys. All right. They smell amazing. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Mmm. Oh, it went away. Mm -mm. What? It didn't go away. Well, I don't see it no more. I mean, I don't see the picture no more. It's fine. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> so, when you ask your mom to film for you. Shut up. <laughs> oh. What is this here device? I don't know. What did that picture making device go? Well, I didn't know it would go off. All right, here's the next one. Oh yeah, that bone is completely loose in there. Oh, oh yes. Yes, sir, you guys. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, nope. That one's leaky one. Woo! That one's hot. Yeah, it's got lots of juice in yeah. it. Yeah. Lots and lots. Whoops, see it pouring out the bottom? Uh-uh. 
there. No, I don't, but I see it pouring into that, uh, that box right there. And that is why you guys use a big box to put all the meat in. We're gonna put on some rubber gloves and um, we're gonna tear this meat apart. I'm gonna show you this. Babe, here, come have a bite of this. It's nice and hot. Mmm, that's good. What we're doing right now is we're vacuum sealing. Like I said, I love to use my vac master. We're vacuum sealing these in giant portions, about that much meat. And we'll put these in the freezer, chill them, put them in the freezer. And what that'll do, all we gotta do is thaw one out, heat it up, add some barbecue sauce, and bam. We have um, slow cooked pork. We don't have to cook it every single time. I like to do a big bunch of them, shred them, uh, portion them out, put them in the freezer, and they become amazing. This is just like that beautifulness. Everybody. Well, everybody has finally got home. We are tearing into this pork. Wow. This is mine right here. This is wild hogs, pork filled, baked potatoes, cheese, sour cream. It's amazing. Oh, oh, you like that? Yeah. So you, Carson, did you like everything? Was it really good? Yeah, yeah. Dogs too. Even Val wants it. You see my dog? <laughs> Is it good, KK? I don't know. Hey, I'll tell you. Jenny, I'll swap. Mm. It's good. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching us on this hunt. Um, remember to go down there, subscribe, like, and like always, we'll see you on the next video. Woo! This looks like a little boy, though. Yeah, that's it. Well, guys, we're hot and heavy and making a new home for Darla and Snowy. And maybe some of their friends later on. He just started talking. I'm sorry, straight up hick right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from?